Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our throttle follower and our throttle cracker tables that are going to be found in our idle control. So we're going to be finding that the throttle follower is going to be adding some additional airflow as we give the engine throttle. It's going to be following our TPS movement or throttle position movement. And we're going to be using it to counteract any kind of stalling or dipping effect as we're free revving and we're coming back down to an idle. If we didn't use a throttle follower, we're going to be finding is that it could stall out or have that dipping effect where it, it goes way below the target speed and comes back up again. It's going to help counter counter react that. And then we're going to be finding that the throttle cracker is going to go in and add some additional airflow as our vehicle's moving and we lift off the throttle. So as we're coasting or even when we're driving and we come off the throttle, it's going to provide some kind of airflow offset so that it's going to allow the engine to slowly transition down to the rolling idle speed or the target idle, depending on what kind of mile per hour our vehicle's traveling at. So we're gonna be using both of these tables at the same time. They're gonna have distinctive usages, but they're also gonna be kicking in at the same time. So we have to be aware of what each does and what we wanna go after if we're having a problem. So if we're having a problem where we rev our engine and it uh, goes and it has a hanging idle off of, uh, off of idle, so if we just uh, simply blip the throttle and we rev it up and we allow it to come down, if it hangs at idle, we're gonna go into the throttle follower table if we are traveling down the road and we lift off the throttle and the idle hangs really high or it has kind of some kind of a surging effect as we're moving, then the throttle cracker is most likely the table we need to address. So we're going to be looking at both, setting up everything in our VCM scanner and taking a look at some data logs so we can really evaluate understanding both of these and uh, we're going to be able to get these dialed in perfectly for our idle control. So without further wait, let's jump in and check out both these tables. All right, so let's get started here. We're going to be talking about our throttle follower and throttle cracker idle tables in our calibration. So first, I'm going to jump into engine here, and I'm going to be jumping into idle, and then we'll be moving over into our airflow tab. Now, we're going to be finding that we have these sections of our uh, idle control of throttle follower and throttle cracker, and they're going to have two different purposes. The throttle follower is going to be there um, when you're off idle, and you were coming back to an idle. It's going to be a way that the ECU is going to provide some more airflow as the engine's falling down to an idle speed. Now this is going to be when you're essentially not moving. So the throttle follower is going to be what we want to focus on and set up if we're at idle and we're revving it and it wants to fall to an idle, it wants to stall, or it wants to hang at idle and it doesn't want to come down uh, quickly to idle. Now the throttle cracker is going to be implemented when the vehicle is moving. It's going to be based on mile per hour and engine RPM, and it's going to be what we use to essentially create a cruise control type of feeling as we're driving. Now, this can be good or bad depending on uh, what you want to do with your calibration file and how you want to control your idle. So we're going to be looking at both of these in this video and uh, discussing what they do, how they work, and uh, what we can do to make some changes if we're getting into a situation where we might have a high idle hanging or if we want to have a stalling condition. Um, what we can do to these tables to adjust them. So let's first start with our throttle follower. Now our throttle follower is going to be using a couple tables here that all work in conjunction with, the, with each other. Our airflow table here, this is going to be the first part of the throttle follower. It's going to be based on throttle position on our breakpoints on the top here. And then the values in here are going to be the adder in airflow, and in this case, in pound per hour. And it's going to be adding um, this 